Hello friends, welcome to Data Pandit. Today I'm going to talk about the ICFF, which is called Index Compressed Flat File. So in the previous session, we were talking about uh, normal lookup, dynamic lookup, and how you know partition lookups uh, functions in uh, Avinicio graphs and components. So um, uh, why ICFF? Because uh, uh, whenever the data grows uh, up to the length of uh, you know hundreds of gigabytes or probably uh, you know terabytes then it's uh, not feasible to store you know the lookup data into the these normal lookups and uh, you know dynamic lookups and uh, pull those you know hundreds of gigs uh, while you know running the component and doing the lookup operation so it's uh, some overhead uh, to uh, to overcome this overhead one way is to uh, go by you know uh, so why we use ICFF is it's a uh, you know uh, because the volume is high high volume in uh, normal lookup and you know dynamic lookup because ICFF is compressed and indexed okay as well so the data would be compressed uh, and uh, the, and there would be an index file so. Uh, due to compression, uh, the size would be, you know, becomes lower. Therefore, we could store the, you know, the hundreds of terabytes of data to look up. This is versus older uh, lookup operations. And one way was to, uh, to uh, if we could store or hold the data into the database. So even then, because hundreds of terabytes of data or maybe to access the, you know, this much of data from any database for lookup, probably through a join with DB or any other means uh, while unloading the database or something like that is not uh, is not uh, you know efficient uh, in terms of performance and uh, you know so because if, if, if the database is residing on some other server then you know the network uh, network uh, uh, the, the data flow from the network is you know very costly and if, if even if the you know the database is residing in the same host even then the other database operations which are happening on the database which makes the you know database operations very slower and even and that too uh, we are calling the you know the same data blocks from our graphs so you know, so in terms of uh, you know performance wise with respect to uh, you know database it's uh, it's not possible to use the Use the database instead of ICFF. Okay. So this is how why we use ICFF, and uh, so why how we create the ICFF. So it's a, there are you know so there are uh, separate components for creating and you know creating the ICFF and how we search the you know a particular element whenever we call the icff and managing the icf icff so we'll talk about later how what managing icf means so before that uh, uh, before that we will talk about um, what is the difference between you know the high level difference between uh, normal lookups and icff so there would be a different creating uh, functions and uh, you know managing uh, the icf and uh, functions for lookups are mostly same but the configuration how we configure those functions and you know use uh, use to call the icf is a little different okay so this is the uh, that and uh, let's talk about uh, how what we do when when we have to create the new icf so what we need to do is we need to sort the data so like i have, I have shown in this uh, snippet uh, it's a small one uh, you know i tried to bring in the you know visual way of uh, how, how you know our icf looks like and how we create normally at a high level so we sort the uh, data and partition the data based on particular key so key when we decide the key this should be you know at most care um, so because everything uh, the index part would be lying on the key part actually 
so we have to be careful and uh, you know in the thoughtful manner we should decide which keys uh, you know is you know generally used and it's a very uh, very useful uh, across the across the you know across the requirement therefore uh, this lookup is used you know multi at multiple places uh, so this key decision is uh, very uh, crucial and then uh, the sorting and parsing on the, that particular key and 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 also need to make sure that key should be you know fixed length key because uh, for variable length keys uh, memory unnecessary memory uh, leakage would be more therefore uh, key length should be you know uh, fixed length this needs to be taken care of while creating the icff and when we create the icff there are components uh, in uh, component organizer which uh, allows us to create the icff so uh, icff uh, comes with the two files basically so one is uh, the actual data file which will be residing on the disk okay and uh, the another is index file so whenever we so, so index file would be index for the actual data residing on the into the onto the disk so whenever we uh, have a lookup call for icf then the index will be always will be in the main memory but uh, the actual data would be there in the disk so whenever we call the icf fm then index would be uh, checked and then uh, the index has to go to the disk and it will you know go to the proper generation and get the particular uh, di uh, di you know data from the disk okay so let's talk about the what are the different performance advantage uh, of using icf or, or you know other contemporary uh, things uh, to join the data uh, you know so let's uh, talk about the performance wise uh, so there are uh, many uh, benefits like so the, in terms of disk requirement so first of all because it's a compressed compressed in nature so it would be you know having a lower uh, uh, disk requirement the physical disk requirement when actual you know the data is getting stored so uh, typically it's a kind of 10 times less than um, if you compare with the database or any other uh, thing so it will be a kind of 10 times less uh, you know uh, disk requirement for this uh, icff and if we talk about the memory requirement memory requirement whenever you know when we call the icff or if we call that database operation so memory requirement is because memory requirements okay so whenever the ICCP call happens, then then the using that index, it will go to the discrete uh, compressed block. Okay, so the the index would be the index data would be stored in the discrete block. Okay, so for a particular index, there would be some certain block assigned to it. Okay. So whenever memory requirement, whenever we call the lookup function, the only that discrete block would be accessed and taken into the main memory and assigned for the lookup operation. But in case of other things, um, you know, the whole data needs to be, you know, in the memory. So in terms of memory requirement, that, that would be very, very less in um, ICC because of discrete blocks. And then, uh, what are the operations, uh, you know, during processing? So, if you talk about the databases, so, so database would, uh, so databases will have many other users to access uh, the any database database table or you know, if even if it is not there. Then the 
then the the call call to the you know any database server and then get the data use the use the you know database server to for indexing and other operations so there are multiple operations to get the data from the database but uh, here in uh, case of icc we just need to go to the index because index will always be available in main memory so it is faster to access the data from main memory and then the index would go to the disk and get the discrete uh, block data so this these uh, in terms of uh, uh, less number of operations this is very fast and in terms of volume the so volume storage it's a very efficient because it can go up to the hundreds of terabytes of data to uh, from the uh, so we, we could uh, store the data into maybe s3, s3 glacier so maybe uh, any cloud or maybe any, um, any you know tap archive and uh, you know, whenever we need any chunk of data we could go and retrieve okay and it's also uh, updatable so uh, we could configure our um, ICC FF that it can be up, you know updatable at the same time so whenever in terms of generation so whenever we have any update of data so we could update the you know ICFF to make the other generation of data so that uh, whenever we retrieve the data in the next time so in the next you know complete generation would be uh, the latest generation would be taken and retrieved from okay so because the, there are advantages so there would be a little you know disadvantages or maybe the limitations we call it uh, so when we talk about icff so there are few you uh, know things which we have to take care and there are you know few hurdles which makes you know icf a little uh, lower popular uh, <clears throat> because uh, it's a huge data sets and they are then they're, they're putting in you know into the disk as a compressed format and so on and data is all you know, because data is also changing so to maintain those data sets uh, into the ICC is kind of uh, overhead. So let's talk about uh, what are the you know limitations of uh, or cost involved in ICC. First of all, there are there is a sorting is required. We need to sort the data and you know, and uh, we need to partition the data and you know store into the discrete block as a compressed format. So pre-sorting is required and then compressing. And uh, whenever we so this is one thing pre-sorting and and compression so these two operations would take their own time right and uh, another thing is uh, uh, while locating the data so what is going to happen is uh, whenever because the data is actually in compressed format and uh, our index file is in main memory and uh, whenever we go with the index to the uh, disk so, so because the data is in compressed format it has to uncompress the data okay it has to take the data from the disk and then uncompress it and then assign okay so this 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 whole operation would you know uh, un compression and uncompression right uh, would take time you know so it makes it uh, you know little lower than you know normal lookup so that's where whenever we have a you know less number of uh, records or less number of uh, uh, you know uh, we have a small lookups to be done then we use the normal lookup or maybe probably the dynamic lookup so, uh, because of that compressing then un uncompression thing right and compressing the data and compressing the data so these are to remove those overheads and then there is an uh, that because the data is changing so there are uh, new generations are keep on coming so before uh, uh, going to a new generation like the generation in so we have one generation of data we have created the icf and then if new set of records are coming so that would be assigned you know different indexing and different you know discrete blocks for that particular index so that is called a new generation of data so these generations are keep on coming um, in the icf and to consolidation of these uh, generations and the re-indexing of those you know uh, you know consolidation and re-indexing because without doing re-indexing uh, the lookup operation will be very slower next time okay 
and we need to consolidate all the generations so that unnecessary you know memory requirement would would go so we are going to store you know dis distinct values for a particular p okay so periodic, periodically what we do is we we need to merge the multiple generation and we you know re index whenever our data grows okay periodically in the sense of maybe on the offline hours of the particular day or maybe probably by end of the week or maybe at the end of the month depending upon the use cases or depending upon the requirement so that, that in that sense uh, we could you know uh, we could um, meet the challenge uh, with the you know updating data and uh, you know pre-sorting and compression so this is the, that i mean uh, so in this video tutorials uh, we talk about uh, what is ICC, why we are using ICC first of all and uh, what benefits it can uh, offer uh, to us and what are the limitations so in the next uh, session of uh, you know video we will be talking about how to configure the ICS in practical and uh, how it uh, manages the generations okay so thank you so much <coughs>